why people are kneeling, blindfolded and shaven and being led to trains in modern China. Why, what, what is going on there? I do not know where you get this uh, video tape. You know, sometimes you have a uh, your transfer of a prisons and the prisoners. US officials have previously described them as concentration camps and newly leaked cables reinforce reports that they are centers for forced ideological and behavioral re-education. Xu Yonghai has run this underground church in Beijing since 1989. He's been to prison or re-education through labor camps three times because of his beliefs. Everywhere she goes, Ouyang Haoyu is followed. What she buys, how she behaves, is tracked and scored to show how responsible and trustworthy she is. It's called the social credit system, and in one version now being tested, a person's reputation is scored on a scale of 350 to 950. Beijing is taking the system a step further in 2020. It's aggregating data gathered by banks, private companies, and the state to rate if someone's a good or bad citizen. By using the most data possible, the so-called big data, the system will play an important role in rebuilding a moral society. The Shui Liang, or Sharp Eyes project, aims to extend and integrate video surveillance from cities into villages and from roads into residential compounds. It aims to use artificial intelligence, big data and deep learning to analyze this mountain of video evidence to work out who's doing what, where and when. Dr. Li Wenliang is dead. Five weeks ago, on the 30th of December, he noticed a virus similar to SARS, a killer Chinese virus from two decades ago. He posted a warning on a Weibo group for fellow doctors. Three days later, the 3rd of January, he was reprimanded by officials and forced to sign an apology. Like something out of science fiction, this drone equipped with a megaphone hovers before a crowd, blaring a warning. The operator, a local traffic cop. You, the handsome man with the telephone, where's your mask? Put it on. Hey, you on the bike, put on your mask when you're in the street. Don't endanger your fellow citizens. <laughs>